I love building and designing things and engineering and using technology. I want to learn coding and there are just so many things. I haven't really singled out what I want to do yet since there are so many options. Um, well, with my friends, mostly it kind of starts in school. Since we all have a lot of homework with AP classes, extracurriculars, clubs, and sports, it's kind of tough to find time to, you know, just go hang out and go to the movies. Before, it's, they were special ed students, and that means that you're in a whole different world. You don't, like if you see them in the hall, it's kind of awkward. You don't really know how to interact with them. Well, Hunter and Kenny had really big challenges and still do um, in their day-to-day -day lives. It's so hard for them because they can't, they have nowhere to carry their lunch and it's hard for them to reach it. And the whole point of the program is to help make them more independent so that they can live on their own. So why not make a portable tray table? Seems like such a simple idea. We're like, okay, we're gonna make it. We've got it designed in this 3D auto drafting program. We're gonna do it. And so then we kind of go over the wood lab, the wood shop, uh, the construction lab. Like we were having a hard time because some of us aren't really good artists, but we could see it clearly in our minds. So we're like, uh, it kind of looks like this. And then we were trying to explain it to other people and they all had different perceptions of what we were trying to explain. Then it was also really hard. Once we kind of jumped over that hurdle, then we had the, how am I going to build this kind of a hurdle? And that's really hard too. If you don't know how to weld and you need to make an articulating tray table that is made out of stainless steel, you are going to run into some problems. So that was also kind of hard. What was your favorite part of when we were building with you and Kenny? You. <laughs> like the tray table, would that make every day easier? Yeah. Yeah. He brought his lunch on it one day, and it was the coolest thing, how a little thing that we had made made his day so much better, that much easier. And we ended up winning the Samsung Cell for Tomorrow Challenge with our ideas. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Three. Bye, Mickey. Bye, Mickey. Yay. They were so proud. They were like, oh, yeah. Good job, guys. It's our team. We never had any doubt in you. And so they were excited and we were excited. It was just awesome. And we would walk down the hall and we would see Hunter and Kenny and it would just be like obnoxious, like Hunter, Kenny, and high-fiving and fist bumping and just, it was great. And they were just smiling the entire time. They were so happy that they could say they had 90 new friends, you know, just to pull out whenever they needed. It was great. I think that was kind of one of the biggest things. It was an eye-opener for us as students that, and just as people, we could be better and we could make better things, you know, to do just more.